Hi, this is Lynn Kellen. Congratulations on getting your new MedLink Medical Surgical Microscope. The MedLink Microscope is designed specifically for orthopedic and plastic microreconstructive surgery. It's not to be used by neurosurgeons or ophthalmology surgeons. It may be used by gynecologists, urologists, for their reconstructive surgery, but that is it. When you bring your microscope into the OR room, wheel it in at this low position. When you get it in the room where you want it, first thing you need to do is plug it in. The reason being is this microscope has to be turned on to raise the arm and to put it in place. I'm pushing a button here that says column up. There's another one that says column down. The physician will move the microscope with this toggle switch right here. When you get the microscope into place, the brakes back here on the legs, all you do is step on the knob, step secure because it's just a rubber pad trying to seek out the floor. To release the brakes, press the silver bar. Your foot switches are hanging on the column here. You have one marked A and one marked B. We'll get to the reasoning to that later. Your knobs here work as all knobs on all microscopes. Turn to the right to tighten it, turn to the left to loosen it, and that makes your joint so you can move it around. When you get to the XY here, I want to suggest to you that this knob, the one that controls the head, is kept tight. You may keep this one loose so when the physician moves the head around, it works at the XY. The first thing you're going to want to do is the scrub nurse should hand the physician, or do it herself, this blue handle. Anything blue can be sterilized. It can be flashed, it can be steamed, it can be gassed. Get this handle on, put this switch on. Then they can handle this, and then they can take the microscope up and down, right here. There are two sizes of the other knobs. Obviously, the big knobs go on the big handle. The little ones go on the little handle. Since there's only two sizes, if one happens to get contaminated, you can just take it off. This is for the pupillary distance PD. It's only set once. You could take it off and put it over here. You'll notice on the eyepieces that you have the diopter, same as the rest of the microscopes. If you happen to know uh, what your eyeglass change is and you're doing surgery without your eyeglasses, just turn it to plus or minus, as you always do. This knob here is your pupillary distance. You adjust that to make it closer or wider. You have numbers right here. Once you know you pu your pupillary distance number, minus 64, you just set it and leave it and you know where to turn it the next time you use the microscope. You will notice that each microscope has an A and the other one has a B. We refer to the A as the attending surgeon. The reason to that is is they do not have their independent fine focus. This knob here is independent fine focus for the assistant. If the, sur the surgeon, primary surgeon will get the microscope into focus, if the assistant is not in focus, they have a half inch of fine focus right here for themselves. So you want the assistant on the B side. Now, when you place the foot pedals, you can't always see the top of the microscope head. So what you do is, the foot switches are marked A. A, obviously, A foot switch goes with A head. 
If you're on the floor, which is usually where you are placing the microscope, if you have the A foot pedal, you're looking for no knobs. They get the A foot pedal. If you have the B foot pedal, all right, and you're down here, just think of the knobs here as being a B, and that's the position that gets the B foot pedal. To remove the foot switch cable, take a hold of it at the top, pull down the top piece, then pull the foot switch out. The foot switches know which microscope head they control. You can place these, and you just push straight up, you can place these in either place. The foot pedal knows what to do. So you don't have to know where A goes or where B goes. Just put them wherever you want. There's a little white dot there, and the little white dot matches the little white dot. Just place them as such. Your foot switch has basically three functions. You have your magnification, which is zoom, which is your bottom pedal to zoom in, to zoom out. This middle piece is just a rest for your feet to orientate you as to where your foot is. The top one is focus in, focus out. The joystick moves the microscope, moves the XY, left if you push it left, right if you push it right, back if you push it back, forward if you push it forward, or if you make a circle, the microscope will make a circle for you. If you are the assistant, you do not want to use the focus or the XY because you will move the microscope for both you and the primary surgeon. But the magnification is independent, totally independent for you. So if you are assisting, you'll want to be zoomed out to about four or five so you can see the whole field to cut sutures and to see more of the anastomosis where the surgeon would be zoomed in at a high magnification doing anastomosis. You are free to use the bottom pedal on the foot switch or the zoom button on the hand switch without doing anything to the other microscope. If you need to focus, use the assistant fine focus on the head. All right, you'll notice this microscope is a little bit different than the microscopes you're used to. This is the way the microscope is set up on the microscopes you have at this time. The reasons your physicians like this microscope is you can turn these knobs any way you want to, tilt the microscope in any position you want to, and then turn these heads independently so you can actually do surgery at a comfortable position. You don't have to have the assistant, and if you happen to be the assistant laying over the patient's chest trying to reach and do surgery, you can actually sit close to them. Many physicians, most physicians either double glove to position the microscope or they use sterile towels. There is a microscope drape to cover this in its entirety. Nobody's using it. If you'd like to use one, you did receive one with your microscope uh, and you can certainly order more if you want them. To sterilize the hand switches, just take a camera bag, place it over the hand switch, slide the hand switch back on, and then the hand switches are ready to go. Your hand switches function and have the same functions as your foot pedal. The yellow buttons are the XY right, XY left, XY forward, XY back. You have your zoom in, zoom out, that is also referred to as your magnification. Remember, you can use this without affecting the other surgeon. When you when you use the focus up and the focus down, or the XY, you will move it also for the other surgeon. Each surgeon has their own hand switch. The other thing about this microscope is it moves 
12 inches by 6 inches on a parallel axis. So what you're going to want to do at the beginning of the case is to push the XY center and the focus center. Well, let's get the focus out of center. And the focus center, so they start with the full range of motions for both the XY and the fine focus. The other functions you'll notice on the control panel, other than the selector switch, is the XY center, the focus center, and there are speed controls for XY, zoom, and focus. I usually set them on three, so you have two directions to go. If the physician wants more speed, you have more. If they want less speed, you have less. Same way with the light. If you set it on, start on three, then you can give them less light or more light. The reason you want to keep this tight instead of loose is if this is tight and the physician moves the microscope around with the XY, it's easier to keep things orientated with the XY. You'll notice right here that there is an L and the blue handle is on the L side. If you turn the microscope around like this, then you'll have an R where the blue handle is. If you have the blue handle in the back, you have an N. You'll notice on the control panel that there is an L, an N, and an R. You set those in relationship to where this blue handle is. If the blue handle is on the L side, then you put this selector switch on L. What this does for you is make sure that the XY is orientated to go right when you go right and left when you go left, back and forward. Same way with the foot switch. If the physician chooses to use the foot switch instead of the hand switch, whichever one they use works. But for it to be orientated, this handle facing the L makes this an L. That way, after the physician positions the microscope, just take note of where the blue handle is and set your selector. Should the bulb go out in the middle of the case, which is the only time a bulb can go out is in the middle of a case, at the back of the microscope here, all you do is slide this module out. All right, set it aside on your chart. Put your extra slide-in module in the microscope, and you're ready to go. Change the bulb after the bulb cools down. You don't want to change it while it's hot. Should you happen to lose a function of the microscope when you turn it on or if it doesn't turn on after you plug it in, the fuse, fuses are located back here on the back of the horizontal arm. You take a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws. There's two on each side. Remove this panel. And you will see which fuse number, what they control. And there's your panel of fuses. All you do is take a flathead screwdriver, turn the fuse to the left, pull it out. Checking a fuse by your sight does not always work. We've all been fooled change the fuse. Place it back in. Give it a turn.
When surgery's finished and you're ready to put your microscope away, one of the smartest things to do before you wheel it down the hall is to get the column, whoops, get the column down short. Once you have it low like this, it makes it real easy to just turn the arms, tuck it all in, tighten it, turn the heads in, that way, when you're wheeling down the hall, if you hit anything, you will hit the foot pedal and not the expensive power microscope, the optics. Unplug the foot switches, just roll up the cord, hang them on the hangers, that way you're not running over the cords as you go. The very last thing you do is cover the microscope. This is a dust protector. Every piece of dust decreases the lighting of a microscope. Be sure to cover the microscope. Placing the cover over and down does nothing to prevent dust. Dust comes from the floor. Bag the heads. Slide it through. Bring the cover clear over the fan and the light. The reason you're doing that is dust in the fan is what causes repairs of fans needing to be done. Draw your drawstring. You can tie it or I just wrap it around here. That leaves your handles ready to take her down the hall. Take care of your microscope and you'll have many years of enjoyment. Thank you.